Hey guys, my name is Cecily and this is Hip Hop Hoppa. This is a very special episode. Why is that? We have a guest tonight. None other than Mr. Liv. We're going to be here listening to his new album, Don't Look Down. We're going to be stretching, doing some yoga, and I can't wait to get started. Always thought that I'd be an apostle. Knew that I would make it if I tried. Don't disturb me now, I can see the answers. This evening comes, this morning, life is fine. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. So let's get things going. I'm gonna put on the first track and introduce you to our special guest. All right. basically you know a record that just encourages all of us out here who are going through hard times to just keep your head up keep aiming towards your passions in life and your goals and uh, hopefully don't let the negative things or the challenging things that are going on in our lives pull us down so this first song actually represents the first song is called pounds of pressure and it represents a very harrowing situation that the main character finds himself in where he's dating a girl, she unfortunately has a stalker, he confronts the guy, and then it elevates unfortunately to a violent situation. Wow. However, the situations that transpire, um, you know, kind of force him to a, a, a period of growth that he has, where he like, he then descends into feeling really depressed after these things happen, and then has to find his way back to a lighter path, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So it's it the, the the record is a journey. Okay. Yeah. Um. Was it based in your real life? You know, luckily I didn't have to go through this violent portion of it that really transpires in the first two songs. Um. But yes, I went through a lot of very difficult stages of growth. Um, you know, uh, as I you know this record took me a while to put together and some of the songs on it are even date back to like 2011 you know um, when i was going through some very tough times so this is this record it's more it's like a reminder to myself to keep my spirits high and keep on moving towards my goals well speaking of keeping spirits high the way i like to start every show is by setting the tone of space so mm. one way i love to do that is with smell mm. so mr Liv didn't want to burn incense for good reasons he's a rapper and he needs to protect this stuff and you know i've got a a scent uh, diffuser, so that's actually a much more throat and lung friendly way to burn scent. I have some ideas for you. Alright. Let me know if you like the smell of any of these. Lemon. Okay. That, that smells good to me. Okay, great. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have to search too far. <laughs> that's the one. If you guys want to ask any questions, I won't be able to get to them always right away if we're doing practice, but um, but we should be able to you know check in from time to time. So 
tell me about this next track. Yeah, so on this next track, so essentially what happens in track one um, is that the, uh, the stalker breaks into the house uh, in the middle of the night while, while the protagonist and his girlfriend are sleeping. Unfortunately, there, you know, a shootout happens that results in the stalker exiting. He jumps off the second floor balcony. And in this, in track number two, track number two is called The Abyss. Mm -hmm. And at this point, the, uh, the protagonist is like, has also jumped off the balcony to follow the, um, the intruder down the alley. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and he eventually realizes, he's just like, why am I chasing this guy when my whole goal was to get him out of the house and to protect my girlfriend. So he has an epiphany during the middle, uh, around the middle of the song where he, deci he decides to stop the violence and just come back and try to take care of his girl and, and make sure she's okay. Yeah. So that pretty well relates to breathing exercises, right? Yeah. You've got someone dealing with fight or flight and trying to calm someone down. You can think of your own relationship to your body like that. Mm, interesting. When we get stressed out, our brains change. Blood gets literally cut off from the front reasoning parts of the brain. But we have we have a way of fixing that. I'm gonna teach you a breathing technique called Ujjayi breathing. Have you heard of it? I have not. Okay, go like this. So that sound you're making is the root of Ujjayi breathing. So with your mouth open you could go. Now see if you can do it with your mouth closed. Now we're going to do a little exercise. <laughs> Try and make this sound while expanding into the width of your lungs. Now make that sound while expanding into the length of your back. sound on the way out but not in when I was breathing through my nose. Yeah. I'm gonna have to practice that some more. It's harder that way. And to anyone watching, you don't have to get this right. Even if you can't get any of it, just do your best to breathe deep. So now we're gonna start stretching. Okay. Let's come down, just find a comfy seat. Yep. On the mat. Okay. Um, but on the mat or knees on the mat? But down. But down. I recommend sitting on a pillow. Okay, yes, let's do that. It's <laughs> a great way to open up your hips. Um, unless you've been doing yoga your whole life, you probably will benefit from sitting on a pillow. Okay, and I just want to say to everyone, this is my first yoga session. You can't find anyone less flexible than me, so here we go. So let's just start by rolling your wrists out. Okay, okay. Great. And this is going to seem funny, but just wiggle each finger. Okay. So while we're doing this, tell me about this next track. Well, this is a song called Every Day We Pray. And this is the first song that signifies the depression and the post-traumatic stress that the main character goes through after the violence that ensues in the first two songs. I like it. I already can tell how much I like it. All right. <laughs> how long have you been working on this song? Well, this is actually one of the songs, I think I first wrote this in 2010 and then had to, I refined it, you know, at even as, recent as 2015 when the album was being finished, but it took me, you know, this is the one that came from some personal pain, wow. you know, so. Yeah. I have something a little tricky I'm going to try and see if you can do. All right. Watch me do it. Yes. I'm yes. going to sit on my toes, and that does hurt a little bit to mm -hmm. get the stretch in my feet. Yep. Step one, let's see if you can do that. Yep, yep. Step one. Yes. Okay. Yeah, does it hurt a little? Um, as long as I lean off with the big toes and put it on the other toes. Okay. A little hurt is okay now. Yep. Check out what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Palms come down so you're stretching your toes. 
toes and your wrist at the same time. Wow, okay. Oh, like hello, my little friend. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is a serious right? stretch right here. Now see if you can bring in the breathing. Inhale. some energy into my system and also just challenging my body just you know I think that trying to keep some sort of um, discipline in my form mm -hmm. is, is, is a little challenging because this is new to me yeah I'm just watching how you know your feet are and everything like that and I'm just you know trying I think that the lengthening was easier for me than the falling for some reason yeah. but uh but yeah cool now we're gonna do something I call a mermaid stretch okay Put your pillow aside mm -hmm. and we're gonna sit with our feet on our side. Can okay. you sit like that? Let's uh, see if this is possible for you. Like this? Put your feet on the same side as me so we can go the same okay, direction. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. It's cool to mirror too, but yeah, yeah good. Okay. okay, so now we're first gonna bend towards our feet. Okay. The reason we're, okay, towards yeah, feet. Yep. The reason we're doing this is at the beginning of any practice, you wanna warm up the spine in all six directions. So that's side to side, front and back, and twisting. We've already done some front and back, we just did on the floor, and then we're gonna move into twisting after this. Okay. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now we switch into a next stretch by putting out your arm and dipping your neck, yep. So tell me about this track. Well, this track here is called Let Go, and it signifies a point where essentially the uh, main character's girlfriend comes over to his, or comes to visit him and just says, look, we have to get out of the house. You can't be defeated by the adversity that you faced, mm -hmm. and we have to reclaim our lives by going out and living. So that's essentially what's happening in this track. Let's switch the flip the bar to Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna turn it down one more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Make sure that they can hear us. Hi, everyone. If you're just tuning in, this is Hip Hop Papa. We have Mr. Liff here. We're listening to his new album. I've posted a link to it at hiphoppapa.yoga. All right, so now flip with uh, hands towards feet again. Okay. And funny 
you scooch a little closer? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I can too. hear yeah. you. All right. Hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, I love this song. This was in our first playlist. All right. Yeah. Great, great. Thanks for keeping me in the mix. And you keep stretching. I'm going to respond to people. Okay. Hey, here with Mr. Lift doing some yoga, listening to his new album. Don't look down. You can find the link at hiphophoffa.yoga. I've been a Lyft fan since I was 16, 15, so I'm so happy that we're here. This is really, in a way, surreal. Um, now, he's asked me to tell you guys that he's new to yoga, okay? So this is proof that anyone can do yoga, right? Exactly. If I can come in here and do this, y'all can come in and come do this, you know? Someone saying the yoga looks poppin'. It is. All right. <laughs> now let's get into that next stretch. Mm -hmm. You guys can follow along with us. So this time, mm -hmm. oh wait, oh there we go. Now heads this way. This way, okay. And arms arm out this out. way? Yeah. Okay. So our feet are over here, our heads are over here, our arms are going out, we're getting a great next stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Nice. Got a question. <laughs> Hi. We are opening. Okay, now let's see that twist. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, you always warm up all six directions of the spine. Mm -hmm. I'll see my legs, and yeah. we're going to bring this leg over this one. Oh, see that? Go. Uh, Great. Yeah. Good job. All right. Thank you. Now, this might be as far as you go, but the idea is this. The idea is that we're gonna initiate a twist mm -hmm. from the lower body up. So okay. going from belly to chest, to shoulders, to neck, then to head. Okay, so. And it pops the back in a great way. Okay. Step back a little, you're doing it right, okay. but I want you to go back a little bit, back okay. up just a bit. Mm -hmm. Try and keep your head first moving in the same track as your shoulders. Okay, right. Just to get yourself as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And then you were doing it great. There okay. you go. Yep. Like this? Looking good. Yeah, do you feel a stretch? I absolutely do. Good. My main stretch is right here because yeah. my right hip is actually my probably the least flexible point of my body. Okay. So yeah. let's breathe into it. Inhale. Okay. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. All right. Hi. <laughs> okay. Switch sides. All right. Let me just make sure that I'm covering. Yeah. Okay. So my right, foot right. is here, here, like here, mm -hmm. and then I bet it's super tight. Yeah. <laughs> Inhale and we twist, initiating okay. from the belly to the chest, mm -hmm. the shoulders, and the neck. Okay. I love this pose. Inhale. I'm going to read the comments. You keep stretching. <laughs> oh boy, I'm so damn stiff. I need some flexibility in my life. I needed this. <laughs> everyone needs it. Do you hear that, people? You don't have to be flexible to the yoga. I always tell everyone that. The less flexible you are, the better yoga is for you because you're right. actually getting something out yes, of it. Yes, yes, yes. All right, breathe into it. Let's do another inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now, you mentioned you have tight hamstrings. Mm -hmm. Let's actually start with the quads. Okay. I missed your last comment, so if it was a good one, type it again. Sorry guys, as we're going into asanas, it'll be hard for me to always be answering questions, but I'll try my best, okay? All right, so sit on your knees, uh -huh. see if that's available to you. If it's not, we'll think of something else. I think it will be. There we go. Great. Oh, I'll take out the question. Their leg is messed up. Okay, well, here's a good time to mention this. If anything I do really hurts you, don't do it, okay? How much for a one-on-one -on -one yoga session? Um, depends on how far I have to travel, if we're gonna be meeting at a gym. Let's talk about it though. Hit me up at the comment section of hiphophoffa.yoga.
Okay, so we're on our knees. Let's do a baby back bend here. So lift from the chest and maybe bring your hands together right here. See if you can feel strong in your arms while you bend back. Okay, so let's breathe here. Inhale. are feeling good. Good. So this isn't too crazy tight then. Mm -mm. We're in a good shape. Let's stand up. Okay. We're going to do our first forward fold. Now, here's where we're going to really test out those hamstrings. Mm -hmm. Get really straight in your back and firm in your core. Mm -hmm. Firm in your core is a key part. Why you start tipping forward with a straight back. Keeping that back straight. We're going to find where the edge is, where you can no longer keep it straight. You're doing awesome. Thank you, miss. Am I curling at all now? Nope. No? Okay. Stop when you have to curl. And this is about it. This is when, particularly the left hamstring, just tightens way up. Okay, then let's breathe into it. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now let yourself fold over and just roll. Good job. I can get something for you. You stay there. So, this is the prop. In a second, don't worry yet, keep rolling. Second is a straight back. A prop is great for this. Okay. So let's take one more inhale, exhale, roll back. Okay. And now place your hands on it, mm -hmm. and from where you are, pop your back so it's straight again. So look at my posture. Yep, exactly. Okay. Yep. And now you're kind of halfway. You're probably a little deeper than you were before. Mm -hmm. Let's inhale here. Yeah. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, awesome, and let's inhale, slowly roll up, how'd that feel? Felt great, and you're right, I was deeper than I was able to get to on my own once you put that prop in front of me right? and I held onto it. Props are awesome, you guys, you shouldn't be afraid to use whatever help you can get. The reason we've all learned about how certain poses should look without props is the people who, who get famous in yoga often have been doing this for, oh, 10, 20 years. So you're seeing the end result of a long journey. Along the way, we use props to help us get there. It doesn't mean it's a handicap. This is our, our tool. These are the weights that you use before the game. That's what props are. Mm -hmm. uh, let's open up the shoulders. We're gonna do something called eagle arms. Now, this might be as far as you can go. Get to this position. Right over and left, yes? Okay, yes, yes. So you can do that. If this is as far as you can go, that's totally great. Feel this. And then see if you can do this, though. Let's go um, right on your left. See if you can make up your arms like this. It's a little tricky. Yeah, let me see. Let me just look at your okay. form. So start like this. Okay, okay. There you go. Okay. Okay, let's breathe into it. Inhale. Exhale. Do you feel the stretch? I do. I think my arms are not doing what yours are doing though. I, I missed something. Because you're you're oh, okay. around. Yeah, you're more around. So right arm on your left. Uh-huh. And then oh my god. So there we go, <laughs> where the edges of your flexibility. Yeah, that, okay. There we go. So I like what you're doing there, because you already have this down. Mm -hmm. So right now it's just about Get this elbow into that elbow. Yep. There you go. So that's a good good place for you to be. Let's mm -hmm. inhale here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And let's switch sides. All right. 
left under right this time. Mm -hmm. And again, you might be here. You might just have to grab here. That's fine. But you you're working on some deeper flexibility. I'm so. it. <laughs> yep, there you go. Awesome. And now then, inhale. Yeah. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Awesome. Now to counter that, let's open our arms wide. And just look up. Feel your chest and back stretching out. Let's go into a side angle. Copy my legs. So, so my leg forward. Okay. Actually, why don't you mirror me so okay, that you yeah. can you can see what I'm doing? Yeah, yeah. People out there, I've got my front leg bent. My knee not going past my ankle. Check out my back push up. It's all on oh, yes. the ground. Yep, yep. That might mean you're pretty high up, or you might be able to sink a little deeper. Now, lightly put your hand here, and then put the other hand overhead. And let's inhale. You stay there. I'm going to read this. If the crossing thing isn't hard enough, start messing with things like the angle, how far out it is. And it also doesn't have to be hard. You might just be really flexible there, so this might be more of a maintenance pose for you. You might be just, you know, making sure everything's cool in here. I'm feeling it though. I'm feeling it in here, but definitely playing with the angle or even trying to twist your hands a little more. Those are ways to go advanced with the crossing. Do I need to be bent more here or am I? No, okay? you're good. Inhale, exhale. Let's go to the other side. so people can see what we're doing because this is a good one. I'm going to stagger behind you a little. Okay. Once you check out, actually I'll go in front of you a little. Sorry, can you see much? Yep. 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 Okay, so we're going to come to something more or less like this, but watch how I get into it. The idea is that my knees don't go too far over my ankles. Okay. Firm in my core sitting into it so it's both stretching and strengthening yeah. I'm getting my hands here inhale exhale you keep going thirstiness yes smoking will do that I didn't smoke but I totally understand <laughs> how are you guys doing out there are you practicing with us We're listening to Mr. Lip's new album, Don't Look Down. I'm loving it. Why don't you tell us about this next track? So this next track, well, first of all, the track that just went off was mm -hmm. featuring uh, featuring Del the Punky Homo Sapien. Oh, nice. Know, yeah. Long time friend of mine. And that track was called World Renowned. And this track here is, uh, is called Ill. And it's just basically me just thinking about some of the ills of our world and just wishing that things were a little bit more simple and mm -hmm. comfortable for all of us. Ooh, Someone it's a wants tough to know pose. where you're from. I am from Boston, Massachusetts. Yes, and we're gonna go back to the board. Okay, okay. So this time wide leg like you are. Wide leg, yep. Feet a little more pointed forward. Uh-huh, yeah. And wide leg. Okay, let me see how what your right leg is doing. Let me see. Oh, just kind of pointed forward. Okay, pointed forward. Okay. Yep. yep. And so yeah, you're from Boston. Yes, from Boston, Massachusetts, and been so doing you can my. Just roll over in this one. Oh, nice. Okay, and been doing uh doing my thing in independent hip hop for quite some time. Um, from 2000 to 2006, was on was label mates with uh, LP and Aesop Rock and RJD2 on a label called Def Jux, Definitive Jux. And um, now I'm signed to a record label called Mellow Music Group. Mellow Music Group. If you're just joining us, we're listening to Mr. Lift's new album, Don't Look Down, and we're doing some yoga. 
I'm so happy to have him here. Um, you can find the album on the interwebs through his band camp. I posted a link at hiphophatha.yoga. Were you in a group before, if someone wants to know? You know, uh, I've been a part of a group called uh, The Perceptionist, which is myself and Acrobatic. So, if you ever see Mr. Lift and Acrobatic, that's our group. We're actually about to hit the studio and make a new demo and have some new music for the world really soon. You know, but mainly I function as a soloist. Nice. All right, now use this like you did it before to make a straight back happen. Okay, straight back, yes. Okay, Here we so. go. Inhale and exhale. Good job. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Roll back forward again, just loosey goosey. Mm -hmm. There you go. And inhale, exhale here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now, hands to hips. Inhale and slowly come up. And heel toe together. Momega is a dope record. Oh, thank you so much. Fun one to make. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to a seat. I want to show people some seated poses you can do. Okay. Because you travel a lot, right? Yes, I do. If you're in a plane, if you're on a bus, if you're in your car, there are things you can do. Let's start with just some gentle neck stuff. So dipping your head to one side. Okay. You can even do this while driving. It might feel a little funny. Don't close your eyes while driving. Yeah. But <laughs> just to get to the edge of your mobility can be helpful when you're stressed out and starting to walk up in your neck. Let's inhale here. Exhale. Keep going. Are you still living in Seattle? You know, I'm actually in Portland, Portland, Oregon right now. Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon right now. But of course I still have tons of love for Seattle and I'm up there as often as possible. Still breathing into that deep neck. So cute, I feel a little kitty. Let's nice. switch sides. Okay. And tell me about this track. Well, this is the title track of the album. It is titled, Don't Look Down. And this is a song definitely in which I'm probably my most reflective and really, um, you know, exploring a serious heartbreak that I've gone through recently where a relationship I really cared about, I, I couldn't find a way to mend it and had to let it go. So the second verse largely touches on that. But, uh, but this is kind of like a point where the album, this is like a summation of kind of all the emotion, and pain and joys and strife and successes that transpired throughout the course of the record. That's all really summed up here. Great. Another thing you can do in a chair, this one not so much while driving, but see if you can get your foot over your other foot, or over your knee, I should say. Yeah. Again, that's straight back, mm -hmm. and we're going to start creeping forward. If you're just joining us, I've got Mr. Lip here. We're listening to his new album, Don't Look Down, and doing yoga. Yes, we yeah. are. Do you feel that? Oh, it feels great. Good. I'm feeling it really in the hip. I'm realizing both my hips are neck are pretty tight, so I'm feeling it kind of like on the outside of my left leg here. Yeah. You know, kind of up towards like the outside of the, of the buttocks. Yep. Where are you Thanks. doing this? We're on the same. Same area, yeah. I'm pretty tight there too. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And let's switch sides. Alright, and just so you know, this is the closest track. Great. Inhale. 
this is where the flexibility is even less. Okay, so you're different on different sides. Yeah, the right side, it takes a little bit more effort to get the foot across here, but yes. joining us. We're just about finished listening to Mr. Lift's new record, Don't Look Down. And I've got one more pose for us. A juicy one. <laughs> We're going to lay on the ground with our feet up on the couch. All right. Like this. The most important pose in yoga practice right. is the laying down one. Mm -hmm. This is where your body gets all the benefits of everything we just did. You reacclimate. Your nervous system is like, whoa, yeah. what just happened in a good way. Um, you stay here. I'm going to grab the phone so we can mm -hmm. talk to everyone and we'll reach out. Oh, man. Okay. Hope you guys have been enjoying Hip Hop Hoppa with our special guest, Mr. Liff. someone here doing yoga with me <laughs> it's been really fun it's been such a great time I'm so glad that I came over to do this yeah it's fun seeing what people's different flexibilities are too mm-hmm yeah you've got a great show that you're that you're doing here <laughs> absolutely I'm having a good time <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> hopefully the viewers are too what do we got here sad it got less views oh well I wouldn't worry about that because well, part of it is, I don't know if I turned on location service, or location for this one, did I? Hmm. Did I turn on location? So, the good and the bad of location. Mm -hmm. When I have, oh, I did have location on. I've okay. noticed sometimes when I have location on, it's like a bunch of horny kids. <laughs> that local Portland kids? Yeah, just high school kids and mm -hmm. junior high kids, and I hope not elementary school kids, but who knows. Mm -hmm. You know, so, meh, that, but hey, maybe it's because it's a school night. Mm -hmm. I love it. The kids are watching, though. And I have, I've been thinking about this thing about the sexy comments from the kids, though. Mm -hmm. I have a pretty sympathetic point of view, and it's based on some Osho talks I recently heard. Mm -hmm. So, say a boy is 13, 14, he is suddenly extremely sexual, right? Mm -hmm. And that's at the age at which his sexuality is literally most repressed. Right. And he has the least control over it. Mm -hmm. And so no wonder these kids are going on the internet and like learning how to objectify stuff. Like they have to do things in secret. So they go on like Reddit and porn sites. And like that's where, you know, instead of being able to do some age appropriate consensual dating type stuff, because a lot of families aren't comfortable with that. And I understand, you know, we all come from our cultural whatevers, but mm -hmm. it shouldn't be any surprise that you give teenagers the anonymity of the internet and they'll try and express the things that are uh, oppressed at home. Right. Makes a lot of sense. Well, you broke it down, yeah. When did you start dating? Boy, I think I was probably 14, you know? Yeah. Right there. So, I think you hit the nail on the head. Well, that just finished the album. <laughs> you guys, this has been so much fun. I can't wait to play it over and over. <laughs> I hope you do too. A reminder that you can find the links to it at hiphophatha.yoga. Um, DJ Sloth Nasty says, please live. You're an inspiration. You've kept it 100%. Aww. Thank you for your music. Thank you. Thank you so much for your comment. I deeply appreciate the fact that you've been listening over the years. Like, seriously, like, I'm going to keep this thing going. And you didn't hear it from me, but there might be more music coming from me this year. But you didn't hear it here. <laughs> he got the kitties relaxing. My cats love him so much, you guys. As soon as he came in, they're like, hi, 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 hi. She's got hi. the sweetest cats in the world. Sweetest cats in the they're world. They're all hanging out, doing yoga. Mm -hmm. My yoga buddies. Well, anyone have any last questions before we go? Positive energy. Oh, yes. Yeah. Positive kitties. <laughs> any last questions before we go? I'll give you a second because I know there's a little lag. <laughs> Preguntas? <laughs> Any questions? About yoga too. 
about your bodies, about your breath. <laughs> Question, when is your Seattle show? Ooh, Seattle show. You know, I don't have one scheduled right now, but I think I will be in Seattle with Thievery Corporation this fall, possibly in October. So if you see Thievery Corporation coming through, I will oh. be with them. Yep. Cool, man. Great. Yeah, come to the show. Well, that's a great note to end on. <laughs> Bye, guys. Take care.